my project name is uh, my project name is Oms Law. We are from Nandipur College. I am explaining about the Oms Law. Oms Law statement is uh, at constant temperature, the current going through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the ends of the conductor. We calculate the uh, we calculate the potential difference V is equal to I into R. We calculate the resistance uh, R V by I. We, uh, it is a three different uh, conductors made up of uh, alloys. Alloys means mixture of metals like nickel, chromium, iron, manganese. It is a battery, it is a bulb, it is a copper wire, it is a nichrome, it is a galvanized iron. We, when we uh, connect it to the ends of the conductor to do the bulb. First. Because first it is a copper wire, because it is a low resistance high brightness. This is a nichrome wire, it is a high, high resistance low glow, it is an intermediate, it is about to ohms level. Thank you. Explain about your Myself Manikanta from Nandi Piyu College. I will tell about Oshan Ekman. Oshan means some scientist name. Oshan means scientist name in 1820 discovered. Before 1820, he is a discovered of the world people treated with the electricity and magnetism. Both are separated. After 1820, he is treated with. He tell about electricity and magnetism. Both are relation is there. I will prove. That is called a Oshan Ekman. Oshan Ekman, it is connected in series only. Why? Because it is giving the high potential, high voltage. This connected in series only to terms with the higher potential and lower potential. Higher potential north pole to south pole. When we current pass through the north pole to south pole, it is giving the deflected towards west side. Pole. When we current pass through south to north, it is a deflected towards east side. I will show on the one time. It is a when we current pass through north to south, it is deflected west side. I will connect the opposite also, opposite only showing. It is a current carrying conductor. You are all know why it is a made up of copper metal. Why? Because it is deflected. It is producing the magnetic field. It is a perpendicular to the uh, current. When we it is a bar magnet, you are all know it is using the labs and it is a producing the magnetic field. When we keep on the near, there is a deflector. Why? Because it is a giving the magnetic field. Not this one. Electricity also producing the magnetic field. This is the conclusion that electricity producing the magnetic field. Thank you.